First, ensure the power is turned off at the service panel before beginning installation of the NX panel. The NX panel is a configurable lighting control panel consisting of single and or double pole relays, 0 to 10 volt dimming channels and low voltage inputs, dry contact outputs, and NX smart ports for NX occupancy sensors, daylight sensors, and smart wall stations. The panel consists of three major components, the enclosure, interior, and door cover. First, locate where the enclosure will be surface mounted. Typically, the NX panel is installed near the circuit breaker panel. Use a long level to ensure that the panel will be properly oriented and aligned. Mark off the location for the top two mounting screws. Partially tighten the screws into the surface. Next, hang the panel onto the screws using the enclosure's keyed mounting holes. Screw the bottom two mounting screws into the bottom two keyed mounting holes. Finally, tighten all four mounting screws to secure the panel enclosure to the surface. Now it's time to insert the panel interior. Position the panel interior into the enclosure so that the notched bottom portion of the interior rests on the enclosure's interior holder. Secure the interior to the enclosure using the four interior mounting screws located in the enclosure. The panel interior consists of a power supply, controller board, relay dimmer boards, and optional UL924 board. The controller board features the NX Network RJ45 ports, low voltage auxiliary inputs, low voltage auxiliary outputs, and NX smart ports for connecting NX input devices. The relay dimmer board includes a controller for each relay and eight 0 to 10 volt dimming channels. The NX panel can be configured with single and or double pole mechanically latching relays pre-installed. If the project requires additional relays and space is available in the panel, additional relays can be field installed. To install a relay, one, locate an open relay position, two adjacent positions for double pole relays, two, remove the relay guard cover, three, insert relay into mounting bracket noting proper orientation, verify that relay is securely held in mounting bracket, four, Attach the relay connector wires red lead to red input screw and blue lead to blue input screw. Slide connector onto the header pins of the relay dimmer board. 5. Connect line and load leads to relay output. Next, connect panel input power to the power supply located in the upper section of the panel. 1. Route the dedicated panel power supply leads and connect them to the appropriate system voltage specific leads of the power supply. 2. Connect the power supply's ground wire to the panel's grounding lug. Next, route the lighting system line and load leads through the high voltage area of the panel. Connect line and load leads for each lighting load to the output terminals of the appropriate relay based on project plans or panel load schedule. Caution: Before making any connections to the relay outputs, verify that none of the loads are shorted. The NX panel features four NX smart ports for connecting all NX sensors and smart switches. The NX panel features four three-wire low-voltage inputs which support momentary and maintained inputs from building automation, fire safety, demand response, and security systems, as well as other systems or low-voltage devices. Connect low-voltage input devices to the input terminal block headers using 18-gauge wire. Each input provides a connection for sourcing 24 volt, common, control, and pilot light functionality. Each input can be individually programmed. The NX panel also features two SPDT, or normally open, normally closed, dry contact outputs. Connect the contact closure output to the output terminal headers using 18 gauge wire. Each output has a contact rating of 24 volts DC at 50 milliamps minimum. After all line voltage connections have been made, install the panel's cover. Position the cover's keyed mounting holes over the mounting screws and hang the door on the screws. Tighten the screws to secure the cover to the panel. The NX panel is designed to operate as a standalone panel or as a connected device on the NX lighting control system hubnet network. To program a standalone panel, 1. Download the HCS Control Hub app available in Android and iOS versions from Google Play or the Apple Store. 
2. Plug an NX Bluetooth radio bridge into one of the panel smart ports. 3. From the Control Hub app, select NX System Setup. A page will be shown showing all the NX Bluetooth devices that are in range. 4. Select the panel. Once a Bluetooth connection has been made, the app will display a list of the panel relays, dimmers, and devices that are available for programming. Program devices and schedules according to the Control Hub app Quick Start User Guide. The NX Hubnet network is Ethernet compatible with the exception that the CAT5 Hubnet cable carries 24 volts DC as an integral power source for certain NX peripheral devices. Caution! Never plug a Hubnet-powered network cable directly into a PC, laptop, or other Ethernet device. The network interface in the panel is configured to provide an in and out connection point for the Hubnet network. Connect the panel as follows. 1. Connect inbound CAT5 cable from the NX Area Controller or NX Bridge into the non-powered RJ45 connector on the panel's controller board. 2. Connect the outbound CAT5 cable into the powered RJ45 connector to an NX Bridge. 3. Continue to run the network until all network bridge devices are connected. It is important to route the network so that there is no more than 100 meters or 330 feet of CAT5 cable between any two network devices. 4. With the panel powered, check to be sure there is an amber LED or link light adjacent to each RJ45 connector.